I am the greatest, most feared, most nefarious, most ultimate supervillain the world has ever seen. I am. Teen Titans Go to the Movies is a new superhero movie, kind of. It's an animated movie, which has come out this year. This is a film that I was kind of excited about. I do like the Teen Titans. I did grow up with that. But this is not the same Teen Titans that I grew up with, obviously, as many people on the internet have pointed out. Hashtag, not my Teen Titans or whatever. This film is about Robin wanting to get his own movie. He wants to be in the spotlight, like Batman is in the spotlight. Batman is in the movie, of course, as well as other superheroes, including Stan Lee cameoing which I thought was hilarious. This film breaks the fourth wall a lot of times. It's constantly referring to the fact that the studio keeps making superhero movies, which are of these big superheroes, but their smaller superheroes are not being recognized for it. And the reason is because the Teen Titans need an arch nemesis to go along with that. Enter Slade Wilson, who happens to be that very nemesis and the Teen Titans start to go up against him and that results in our movie. I'm just gonna be honest with you guys, I thought this was a really damn good movie. This was an entertaining blast to watch. The animation was spectacular for a film like this. I mean, some, some of the shots in particular just look amazing. The colors are really vibrant. This is a really entertaining DC um, animated movie. And it makes constant references and jabs at things that have happened in other DC movies before as well as other non-DC movies that have happened before, including certain things where they reference Guardians of the Galaxy at one point, they reference Deadpool and talking to Deathstroke, there's all kinds of references to those things. When Stan Lee comes in, there's a joke about, wait, this is a DC movie, I'm gonna get out of here, which is hilarious. Those things were really funny to me and I really enjoyed those aspects of this movie. And I also like the fact that this is, yes, it's a kid's movie, but it has some good humor in it. It has some very crude humor at points. There's one joke in particular regarding Bruce Wayne, which I thought was absolutely crazy. And I couldn't believe that was in the movie, but well done on their part for that. I mean, <laughs> oh my god. If you're gonna watch this film with the serious intent of trying to dissect it like a cinematic motion picture, I think that's wrong too. But it does have a lot of great qualities to it. It's a wonderful time. I really enjoyed this movie a lot. I might actually buy the Blu-ray. I'm serious. I might actually buy it. I think this is a fantastic movie. It's a really entertaining film. I don't think it's like one of the best movies ever made or anything, but for a movie that's about an hour and a half long and you have a bunch of really cool lines here and there and a bunch of great action sequences with Slade Wilson and one of the better representations of Robin in a long time, if you have all those things, why not own it? I just... I, I really like the movie quite a bit. The music was also really great. There's a nice play they do on the Teen Titans song, which I really adored as well. There's a great sense of, like they said, the vividness and the colors are amazing. The voice acting is also phenomenal. The Teen Titans themselves, you care about them. There's a few things I didn't expect, like Nicolas Cage as Superman, which if you've seen The Death of Superman Lives, which was a documentary by John Schnepp, may you rest in peace, by the way. I heard about that. Um, if you saw that, you know Nicolas Cage was supposed to be Superman for a Tim Burton Superman movie, but that didn't happen, and so now they finally made him Superman in this animated movie. And Jimmy Kimmel is Batman, which I thought was even funnier, and he has only one line in the movie. <laughs> I mean, what are you supposed to say to that? I mean, it's a hilarious film in that sense. Also, Will Arnett as Deathstroke was fantastic. He was hilarious, and they found a good way to go around how his name also sounds like something you can say really coolly at points, you know? So he'll walk around saying that, I am Slade! Wow, his name is really fun to say dramatically. Slade! 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 But like I said, I really do recommend this movie if you want to watch it. It's a very simple story. It's about becoming uh, more used to the fact that, you know, friends are important in your life and they're more like family to you. That is the whole point of the movie as Robin is constantly trying to get his own movie in the process and the end moral is what you think it is. But I appreciated that. It is a simple moral, but... You know, kids are watching this movie. Like I said, this is made for kids. You're not exactly looking for deep, thought-provoking superhero movie filmmaking here. You're looking for something fun and lighthearted, and that way this movie delivers on the goods. This is a damn entertaining movie, and I think if you give it a chance and not keep thinking about, oh, this is not the Teen Titans that I wanted or something, really gonna enjoy this movie. Stay for the credits. There's a couple of scenes in there. I'm gonna give Teen Titans Go to the Movies an 8.5 out of 10. It's an 
entertaining movie. What else am I supposed to say? I think it's I think it's damn good, and I think you guys should check it out. I heard some people say it's terrible, but whatever. I I don't know. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Look forward to more reviews very soon. As always, if you like this, please just subscribe, and I'll see you guys at the movies. Thunder, feel the thunder.